Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial I'm going to show you the Oracle Database Recycle Bin, Recycle and Bin feature. Now the Recycle Bin feature in, in the Oracle Database has been available since 10G, it was introduced in version 10G and it is enabled by default. Okay, so the Oracle Database Recycle Bin feature is enabled by default. Now the recycle bin in a database is in an Oracle database is similar to the recycle bin on a Microsoft Windows operating system. Okay, when you delete a file in Windows, it doesn't delete the file, it renames the file, which is the same thing as move it moves a file to another location on disk. Okay? And you always have the ability to bring it back to its original location that it was in when you deleted it, um, if you need it. Okay, so it's but the advantage to doing that is that first of all it sends it to another location so you can rename another object that name if you wanted to but um, Oracle will the advantage in Oracle is when you send an object like a table to a recycle bin the table will remain in a recycle bin or the object we should say will remain in a recycling bin until one of three things happens okay so an object put dropped and put into the recycle bin which is the default behavior in 10G and above will remain in a recycle bin until one of three things occur number one you manually restore it, the flashback command number two you um, explicitly um, purge it from the recycle bin you can purge the, you, the object from the recycle bin or number three Oracle database will automatically and internally remove it Okay, because it notices that there's, it will keep it in a recycle bin as long as it possibly can, but if there's space needed for new segments, they have priorities. And so if you create a new table and you're in certain data and it needs space in the table space, it will automatically um, reclaim that space from the recycle bin. Um, so it will delete objects from the recycle bin automatically to make room for the new space when space constraints exist in the future. Okay, so Oracle automatically manages it. You're so by sending objects to the recycle bin, another way to look at it is you're you're telling Oracle um, this object is important, but it's not that important. Okay, and you know if you can keep it, great. I may need it. If not, no big deal. So um, starting in Oracle Database 11G, the recycle bin is enabled by default, um, and I'm going to show you an example of it. So let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure we're set properly. So Oracle underscore SID is set to finance. Now, let's type in SQL plus, but let's not connect with the sysdba, the sys user. Let's connect with a use a regular database user I created called Justin. Okay, so we type in SQL plus, it prompts us for our login name. We type in Justin and our password, Justin123. Okay, so now we're connected to Oracle. Now if we do a show user, we will see that we're connected as the Justin user. Now the Justin user has um, some, some uh, privileges that I granted him and some attributes that I granted him prior to the video. I created a user called Justin as you saw. I gave him create session privilege so we can log on. I gave him privileges to the users table space which I created, write privileges, quota privileges. And I gave him privileges to the create table command. I also made the user's table space the default table space. So I created a user called Justin. I gave him create session privilege. I made the user's table space that I created his default table space. I gave Justin unlimited quota on the user's table space and I gave Justin the create uh, table privilege. Okay. So that being the case we're going to create a table as user Justin called names Give it one column here, F name, character type car car 20. Okay, we're going to describe names and we, we see the structure of our table. One column, F name, variable uh, data type var car 220. Select asterisk from names and no data, no rows are currently in this table. And this table is in the Justin schema and it's owned by the Justin user. So now we're going to insert two rows. We're going to start putting data in this names table. So we're going to do insert into names values. Do my buddy Mark. And we'll do my other buddy Rich. Like this. Okay. Commit it. And we'll do select asterisk from names. And we'll do another show user. So 
we'll see here that user Justin owns a table called names which has one column F name which has two rows in it Mark and Rich so does data populated into this table now what we're gonna do is go ahead and type in drop table names like so okay and the drop table names command drops the table names from the Oracle database table drop now when we do a describe names or if we do a select asterisk from names we will see that it, they don't pull anything because the table has been deleted okay but ever since 10g by default the table's not actually deleted the table has just been renamed it's somewhere else so its data is somewhere else it's so it's still using up space in the database but it's kind of it's managed by Oracle now okay and I'll show you I'll show you what I mean by that so now go ahead and there is a view called recycle bin okay and everyone has has this is has this view name this is actually um, a synonym to uh, user underscore recycle bin okay but um, and the recycle bin synonym here shows here's here's the uh, description of its structure and you have object name so if you type in select object underscore name from recycle bin okay and this is going to be the user you're logged into his recycle bin which is Justin's okay oops okay we will see that we have this Oracle generated name Oracle automatically generates a name for every object that gets put in a recycle bin and it names it bin dollar it puts a bin dollar sign in front of the object name okay this uniquely identified object name okay that's how Oracle had named stuff in the uh, in the recycle bin all right but what you can do is you can say select base underscore object from recycle bin and it will tell you the object ID but if you type in select original underscore name from recycle bin we will see that it was called names so the table that was dropped was names okay with this uh, object ID all right but its recycle bins name was this so it was renamed to this basically is what happened okay but if we do a describe names or select asterisk from names we will see that the names table does not exist select table underscore name from user underscore tables and the user underscore tables view says any table that the current user schema owns who which is user Justin and it says no rows selected so according to the database user Justin does not own any tables right now which he doesn't we deleted it it's in a recycle bin okay and we found out by doing a select original underscore name from recycle bin that the names table is currently in the recycle bin so to bring it back you type in the following flash back table names to before drop and um, refer to my YouTube videos on flashback where I talk about the Oracle flashback utility in more details but this is the flashback utility as it um, usage as it relates to the recycle bin so we had a table up here a user Justin has a table called names okay and the names table basically just has two rows in it mark and rich someone came the user accidentally dropped table names and the user notices now that uh oh my table's not there anymore okay us as, us as the DBA or the user notice does a select object name from recycle bin and sees that there's this this long name object or something in the recycle bin so they, they say I want to see what this object used to be called before it was dropped it used to be called names so now the user goes oh that's my drop from up here so I do have it in the recycle bin so the user then types in flashback space table space name space two space before space drop flashback table names to before drop flashback complete now describe names up oh, there it is and select asterisk from names there it is now we do select original name from recycle bin 
mill row selected because we took because we restored it. Okay, remember what I said earlier that objects remain in a recycle bin until one of three things happen, and one of the three things is unless you rest, until you restore it, and we did restore it, so it's not in a recycle bin anymore. And now, bam! I didn't have to. You didn't have to. The user didn't have to call the DBA to do some kind of database or table space point in time recovery. Didn't have to do any kind of restore. Nothing like that. Okay, or, or imports or anything crazy like that. All right. All you had to do was type in flashback table names to before drop, and the user got his table back. Okay, and uh, that feature is enabled by default. So by default, start an Oracle database 10G and above. When you drop a database object such as a table, it gets renamed, which basically means it gets put into a recycle bin, and you can always bring it back if you have to. And don't worry about the flashbacks about the recycle. A lot of people come to me and ask me questions about recycle bin and they'll say Justin I, I, li I like this idea that Oracle has about recycle bin but and I'll explain the high level of how it works but they'll say well that concerns me we're doing drops on these tables and we're cleaning up our tables but they're all going into the recycle bin so we're, th we still have space problems right I say it's still using the same space even if you drop the objects absolutely but I tell people I'm like don't worry about it Okay, don't worry about it because Oracle will automatically manage deleting that object, okay, when it needs space, when it encounters space constraints in the future. So by putting it in a recycle bin, Oracle is constantly monitoring the space and table spaces. And if you want to insert more rows somewhere else in the database or create more tables and Oracle node and Oracle doesn't have space to do that, he will go into the recycle bin and get rid of the oldest objects automatically. So by doing that, you let, you give the control to Oracle. Let Oracle control that. Don't worry about that. It's perfectly safe to have Oracle save stuff that you drop in the recycle bin. Okay, because Oracle will manage the space um, concern that people have, which is a valid concern, by the way. And I've had there's been a number of occasions where I had calls of people who whose whose applications aren't working correctly, and I log into Oracle and find out that the data that the application is trying to query isn't there anymore and the and the users freak out about it and then find and then I'm like well wait a minute wait a minute and I do a select and I'm like it's in the recycle bin and I was able and it's small data and I'm able to bring it back okay um, and the user is like amazed and happy okay so recycle bin on by default you forget it's there you don't really feel the um, the the effects of it because Oracle's managing the space for you, but you're happy it's there because you never know when you'll need it. Okay? And that's how the recycle bin works and that's how you recover.